This here is a quick overview of what exactly WP Scope is and how it works. So here I am right now inside of the plugin once you get it installed. And the first option you have here is the settings. And this is your basic API settings and configurations that you can make for the plugin itself when it comes to linking your accounts together and things like that. I'm going to jump over here to the scope manager where the real magic happens. And basically what we're going to be doing is you're going to be going through here and you're going to be creating a campaign to pull Periscope videos and put them on your blog. All right, so let's go ahead and quickly jump in create a campaign from scratch and then I'll show you exactly what it looks like when the plugin starts running by itself. So first of all, we need to give this a campaign name. So I'm just going to call this my cool campaign. I'm going to click on next and now we need to enter some keywords to tell the plugin what types of videos we want to pull. If you mouse over this question mark over here, you can see what types of keywords you can enter. You can enter regular keywords, keywords with key phrases. We can use the or function the exclude function and the hashtag function. So let's say I was looking to pull funny videos. I could say funny and I could also say hashtag funny or something along those lines. Next, you want to choose your language and for the campaign type, I want to pull other people's scopes. So I'm going to go ahead and click on next. From here, we need to set up templates for our WordPress post settings. This is going to be the information that is entered when the plugin posts that video to your website. This information here is going to be posted on that WordPress post. We have all kinds of tags and templates that you can use inside of these fields here. Just simply mouse over the question mark here and you can view the different suggestions and the titles and the templates that we have for you. I'm going to click on next here and then we need to configure the video settings. This here is going to be the information that is used if this video is posted to YouTube or daily motion. If you are going to use one of those APIs in your settings, this is going to be the content that is automatically filled into those settings as well on YouTube or daily motion. I'm going to click on next here. Next up, we get to control the frequency. How many times do we want to post per day or per hour? Totally up to you right now. I have it posting one time per hour. I'm going to leave it like that. Click on next here. We have the traffic. Where would we like to upload these videos? YouTube, Amazon, or daily motion. You select your preference here. If you select YouTube, you get to choose a category and a privacy status. If you choose Amazon, it will upload straight into your S3 account. And with daily motion, you get to choose a category as well. We also have social media auto posting. We can auto post this to Facebook and Twitter. And let's go ahead and jump in and see exactly what it looks like because I've had one running for a while now using the keyword marketing. So we can see all these different posts here that it has made for me. So I'm going to jump in, open this one up here and we can see that we have our title, which is a template we are using and tags we are using. We have the video automatically downloaded from Periscope and uploaded to our YouTube channel. And we have a template down here that we are using, using different title tags, like the name of the user who created the video, their location, their website, the number of followers they have and different things like that. And the plugin itself, it's coming here. It's finding videos that are related to marketing based off of my keyword. It's finding Periscope videos and it's posting two of them per hour to my website on complete autopilot. And I now have a lengthy database of content related to marketing that I didn't create on complete autopilot. Thanks to WP scope. 